What's up everyone and welcome back to some more Pokemon Incidents. Last episode we came here to the Saline City and took down Persephone with her Mega Zoroak. And we also got the Marowite. We got pretty much uh, Mega Stones everywhere. But uh, that wasn't actually in the last footage because we played in my second save file. If you guys don't know, I actually accidentally deleted the footage of the gameplay in this uh, save file. I don't know, I'm dumb. So yeah, if you talk to this guy, you get the Marowite. And that's the reason we got Marowak Crash. And also Oscar and I went to the black market and bought Crash Spooky Rush. Yeah, it's a custom move. It's a 70 power, 15 PP, under accuracy move. I thought it Spooky Rush because Mega Marowak is the ground and ghost type and we didn't have any other ghost type move. We actually had Shadow Claw, but Crash couldn't learn it. So today we will be taking on the final gym in this current beta, which is the what gym? <laughs> uh, Saline City Pokemon gym. The psychic and dark type. And let's go inside. Well, hello there, champ. Diana here has a theme around has theme at her gym around dreams. That way she can use her both favorite types. Oh god. That way she can use her two favorite types, psychic and ghost. Dark types are your friend here of sure sure. Ghost types too. And oh, another thing, there are a lot of trainers here, but they do not give you um, give you as much as experience you might want. That's because you're supposed to avoid them. For, take this for luck, champ. Cool, so there are a lot of trainers, but they won't give XP. That sucks. Well, best of luck there, champ. Thanks, bro. So, welcome to the gym of dreams. Where walls are sightless and not, and not is all as it seems. Leave no stone unturned or unexplored. So walk right on, hero, and find just find reward. So uh, I don't know what they're saying about some walls. There's something, some poems about walls, but they say they are not going to take get any exp. So bring it on. You don't have any. You don't have any choice. They're saying that they are trainers, but they don't give any exp because they're supposed to avoid them. So uh, I don't know. Maybe you should like walk through walls uh, because they say the walls are sightless. So that's my assumption. Maybe the wall the walls are like illusions maybe. And here comes Mega Marowak. Yeah, I can show you the show. Oh! Ha <laughs> suck out that! We are a curse type explosion. I was like, oh my god, Mega Marowak, no way. And Margos, the ghost typing helps us. So next comes Surat. So good thing we got spooky rush, because that's gonna be super effective against these guys. And even Leonard is gonna be super effective against these guys. By these guys, by the these guys, I mean the trainers and the gym leaders. Wow, spooky rush. Cool. Mega Marowak is going to be epic in this gym, as well as Delta Leo. I mean, Mega Delta Blastoise. Okay. So maybe these walls are walkthrough. Let can go. Three. Are you serious? It's pretty scary in here, isn't it? I'm about to go till the back and charge, but. Now my last battle some grandmas, medium melee with her dog snore. You know what? I don't care to snore. I, I have the marrow white. You know what that means? I'm gonna get Marika Marowak, who's gonna wreck your butt. Oh, you also have parental bond, which does more. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. And he's going for hex, which sucks. So Spooky Rush should do like he should hit one time and do another damage. If you guys don't know Mega Parental Bond, oh my god, I can't say that. Uh, also, I'm saying like a, like a girl, okay? Like, oh my gosh, also that's kind of offensive, so no offense. So, Media Millie, if you can count where your fears, nothing can stop you. Okay, is this wall walk through? A walk throughable. Three, two, one! And that's it. I thought the, wa the walls are actually walk throughable because they said we have to avoid the trainers, but not. So I'm gonna beat you so bad, I almost feel bad about you. Wow, bro. That's cool. That's always Crash following, I thought he's dead. Maybe he's not. No, no, he's not. He's, he's still alive. So he has a uh, giraffe rig and I'm totally wasted on Mega Evolution. Because he's going to totally go for a quick attack and just smack us. But you know what? Let's have some faith, guys. Let's have some faith on our Pokemans. So here comes Mega Crash. And you're dead. I just knew it. But anyways, we have Leonardo also who is super effective against these guys. Cause we are dark type, bro. Let's go for the dark pulse. Oh. I don't see the point in the I don't see the point in button passing. 
So that's doing a pretty good damage and we are up to the point that the gym trainers Pokemon are higher level than us. It's kind of sucks though cause I, the gym leader might be having like, I don't know, 65s and a put I mean we have Electron. No worry though, he's a freaking OP. He just comes there, Mega, Man, Anforos, Dragon, Electric type, go for one Dragon Balls, boom, game over. So I think we are in a very close, I mean we are pretty close to the end of the game. So this might as well as be the final part of Pokemon Insurgents, at least for this beta of course. So of course, they are doing, giving like no XP though. I, I can't believe it. Neither do I. Maybe should, there's something to do with uh, small stone thingies. Cause we can't heck walk through walls. So a chance was taken, a chance was missed. Not to fight trainer and to persist. But you, but a chance you had and have again. To walk straight into a domain. I mean straight. The walls are not walk throughable. What the heck can I do? So let's uh, crash there. Let's put Nimbus up. I think yeah, Nimbus not bad. So let's go take on you. I kind of feel bad for you. That's how bad you're going to get beat. I don't know why I think everyone is saying bad. Maybe like I'm bad. I'm bad. Maybe this is like a tribute to Michael Jackson, and I don't know that. And here comes Wobbuffet, which I love. If you guys don't know. Freaking goes for counter, mirror coat, destiny bond, and then what? That's what oh, it have splash, I think. It's freaking so annoying though. You can like one shot win a mega Pokemon. So let's go for Dragon Balls. And this thing also has pretty good defense. So let's go for mirror coat and we're dead. That's what happens. Don't mess with Wabafed because it totally took down a mega evolved uh, Altaria. So the only way to take this thing is down is going for like a super effective move But it should be like overpowered because if you don't take it down You'll go for mirror coat Or counter like a, I don't know why you went for counter bruh Or you go for destiny bond and just totally take it down And the uh, it's are pain to deal in as locks I have some many personal experiences Not gonna lie So I think in uh, I don't know I no, I, I haven't uh, uploaded these videos to YouTube because I have done um, these Nuzloxes before when I started YouTube so I think it was Pokemon Expert Emerald not even Expert Emerald I think it's Ordinary Emerald Pokemon Emerald and the Moss Deep City I think um, the gym the Moss Deep tra Trainer Sambula had Wobbuffet and um, guess the expect what he had Wobbuffet just sweep through two of the Pokemon like two of it and also what type are you I don't know let's go for Ice Beam no oh. Looks like this is a grass type. So grass and dark. That's a pretty good uh, typing though. I don't remember any other dark grass and dark type. Can I guys remember uh, grass and dark type? Uh, let me guess. No, that that isn't any other any other dark grass and dark type. Is it? Huh? Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, no, I don't think so. Like maybe this is the first Pokemon for grass and dark typing. I totally forgot my Pokemon skills. As Volcan counts and the sweeps, Volcan has fall under level. I just realized level 57 only. So next comes Jacinth, and we have we have Electron guys. Don't worry, we we got it. We just we can just go for one Thunderbolt and just add one even on Thunder and just take this thing down. Oh, it's a male. It looks like a Pringles man. Pringles dude. We landed the Thunder though, and see you later, pal. See you later. Thunder is the strongest electric type move, I think. So, best of luck with the rest of the gym. Ah, they say you should not fight trainers, but the, what am I doing right now? Just fighting trainers and they give like seriously no XP. Maybe if I give uh, Leonid or the Lucky Egg instead of the, the, the Leonardo Knight, I, I would like to call it. So let's have the Lucky let's give a Leonardo the Lucky Egg and hopefully it goes better, much better if I should say so myself. So let's go, let's give Lucky Egg and let's take this guy on. Bring it down, you don't have any chance. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the TMNT smash up video. I couldn't uh, say much on the last episode because it was in my save file and my the commentary is pretty uh, tired, I would say. Pretty less, less energized, but if you see today, my voice is so energized, I could record like 20,007 episodes. Just kidding. I mean, I would love to. But my voice pretty much dies. I mean that's the problem that many YouTubers I mean, I mean always all YouTubers record like once a day and upload once a day because surely the voice does die though. 
So I mean, if you are like subscribed to your YouTube channel, example, say my channel, you will be expecting another video like two upload two videos a day, and after one video, I'll be like pretty tired, so I couldn't upload. Or I'm like sick, and all those stuff. I don't know why I'm jinxing it. I don't want to get sick. Come on, I have my holidays going on. Also next week, I have school's back, so that's gonna be sad because I can't record to you guys. The psychic Harold, Harold yet? Well done. Well done indeed. Thanks. So let's go heal up because our Pokemon are pretty much beat up. And this gym, I can't even find a puzzle for a simple gym. But I thought the walls are able to be walkable because they say uh, the walls are sightless. That's one clue. And then the, another thing is that you should not battle the trainers. So if I use my magical calculations, I thought the walls are like illusions. But looks like they're not. And I thought that the small stone totem things. Maybe there's something to do with those, that color, like red, yellow, green, or I don't know, maybe the walls are walkable, and I'm being so dumb, I don't know. Also, we got the fedora, guys, we got the fedora. You know what that means? Every time I take a gym, I'm going to uh, wear the fedora, because its powers are uh, unnatural, or I should say, natural, 100% natural. So now let's try to go through the wall, which is probably going to bang my head again, but let's try. What? We can actually walk to. Then why the heck couldn't we walk here? Oh, hold on. Huh. Maybe we can't walk here. But to the front side. Oh, we can also walk here. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Also, there's like a pattern that you can't turn. Only you can just go straight. Wow, that's epic. Can we walk? <laughs> we can just skip all these trainers. That's That's cool. I did, I'm so dumb that I couldn't even follow one simple puzzle. And Leon is just following us. He's like, uh, Goku, where are you? Light? Kazana? Anyone? No one here. So, okay, let's take on the... Should we take on the trainers though? I mean, they don't give any XP, so I suppose we're not going to take them on. Also, I'm going to give Leon the Leonardo Knight. That's what I love to call it. So, let's give him the Delta Blastoise Knight. We can also give him the Dark Rock, which actually extends the... Power of, uh, what to say, mm, power of new moon, so that could be pretty good. So we have aqua, typhlosionite, they brought us mega stones, except for aqua, I just realized that. That's cool. If we, if we had like Feraligator, our whole team could mega evolve. So Diana, you look pretty cool. Okay, let's give one photo of a thumbnail. Just kidding though. So, uh, welcome challenger. I'm Diana, the leader of the Serene City Pokemon Gym. The gym I run is themed around dreams, and such as I specialize in both psychic and ghost types. I hope you found my gym puzzle clever. If you understand the poem, I'm sure you had no problem getting through my gym at all. When it's said to walk right, right ahead, well, I couldn't get more literal. Uh, but anyways, enough of that, right? Let's get the show on the road. Get ready to lose. And we are walking in slow motion. And let's go, Leon, I just wait that bro. Bring it! Oh yeah, the final city of this beta. Wow, Diana. Diana, you look... You look fabulous. That's all I want to say. That's all. What a 65 though? What the? They're over leveled or we are like under leveled. So I'm going to... Um, no, I'm not going to make up just yet because we have Nimbus. Uh, since this thing doesn't have any weakness except for Fatty, I think I'll go for Mega Nimbus. Though, uh, should I go for Mega Nimbus or should I go for Mega Crash? I don't know, but these Pokemon are pretty over leveled or our Pokemon are pretty under leveled. So the Moonblast is doing pretty good damage. And going for another Willow Wisp, not gonna work, bro. They already burnt. This is kind of sad because I'm literally Nimbus burnt and I'm being like dumb. And here comes God War. Going to switch, huh? And Moon is gonna be neutral. But we need a crit. Huh, let's go for the Dragon Pulse. Oh, going for a Moon. Oh, we, for, I, I, we are... Oh, gosh, totally forgot that we are Dragon type. Ah, oh, we suck. I suck. You guys don't suck, I suck. So, let's go for Crash. Or should I say Mega Crash? Cause let's go for the Spooky Rush. They're probably the worst name for like a custom move, I would say. Spooky Rush. I mean, Spooky makes it like... Goofy, I think. But we have parental bond, so we're gonna hit like two times. And hope we don't have like hidden power dark, I think. Oh, we survived it! Oh yeah, parental bond, bro. Parental bond. Oh. 
No need for turtle bond as even one shot. That was kind of creepy. The cry was kind of creepy. So next comes Chandelure. Chandelure. So I'm going to go for Leonardo. Set up the, set up the new moon and come back to crash. I think, I think that's the best strategy for now. So here comes Chandelure. I'm going to go for the new moon. Oh god, wait. That means even uh, Chandelure's moves will be uh, super effective, right? Oh, that sucks. But you know what? Um, doesn't matter. White herb. Wow. Let's go to the new moon. The sky turned faded to pitch black. Cool. So we're going to make our ghost and dark type moves super effective and uh, weekend fairy type moves. So let's heal up Leon on the back again. Don't go for energy ball. Not bad. Not bad at all. Wow. That did kind of a decent damage. Let's go for the dark pulse though. Here comes the overheat. I think he's going to. Yep. Kind of sad. Sorry, Leonardo. I feel pretty much sad, but we do have Electron at the pretty much same level as Sandalure. So I think I'll go for... Oh, we don't have Live Wire. Crap. Uh, let's, go, let's go for Thunder. I don't care. We could have gone for Power Gem, but then Thunder gives a stab and it does pretty de de devastating damage. Yeah, pretty good. And uh, I'm not, we're not even utilizing the new moon actually. But that guy can totally use it because he, has he went for Shadow Ball which did more damage because of the new moon. Oh yes, it brightened again. Going for Shadow Ball. This time we're not that much bro because new moon is out. And you're trying to misuse my own powers? Never. Chandelure is down. Oh my god, I'm getting level X. Level on Electron who's at level 66. Wow. So next comes Gengar. Uh, it could be a Mega Gengar. But I'm not sure because this game uses a lot of fan made Mega Evolution, so I'm going to assume uh, Mega Gengar won't be there. I'm going to also heal up Crash or Mega Crash. Oh my! Slug Wave! Sl sludge Wave! It's not, not a Slug Wave. Electron is dead though, that's sad. Oh, we have Life Orb. Uh, what if he has. He can probably one shot Crash with his Life Orb. So I'm going to be kind of uh, safety because. Once Crash goes down, it won't be good. Because we, we wouldn't have any other Mega Evolutions. And oh my god! He totally one shot at Typhlosion though. Wow. You know what, let's go for Crash. I think even though he goes for Shadow Ball, uh, I think Crash should be able to survive it, I think. Let's go for the Spooky Rush. And here comes the Shadow Ball. Hopefully we can survive it. Not good though. Totally not good. No way, no, come on. Aqua. Maybe if you do some nice training, I, I better do that because a Bugman are pretty much under leveled and here comes another sludge wave. And that thing is doing pretty good damage though. <gasps> Aqua survives it? What the? We land behind of them? What the? Everything, what the? Moment. I think it's going for the. I think she will be going for the hyper potion, but even for emergencies. I'm going to heal up Aqua anyways and let's see what happens and oh no I think uh, Gengar can take itself down using the life orb what the no way wow we totally got like swoop from the, the gym my god maybe they're pretty much under level though Huh. Why not end the episode right here though? Cause I'm gonna give the lucky egg to Lira and you guys probably know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for the Arena trainers. Should I skip this though? You know what? I think I'll be skipping this guys. So I will see you guys right back here once it's some nice training with the Pokemon with the Arena trainers. And uh, I will see you. Welcome back guys. I did some nice training to the Pokemon. As you can see here, Lyra is at level 65, Volcano at level 64, Crash at level 61, Electro, Electron is at level 66. So I believe that uh, these four are going to be our trunk cards and Nimbus and Aqua are just going to stay there for our sacrifice. So the items are, I give you another Delta Blast of the Night, Volcano the Choice Picks, Crash the Leftovers, Electron the Life Orb, Aqua the Lucky Egg and Nimbus as the Focus Sash. So pretty good, so I, I will be spinning through, through the gym. Because um, I think we pretty much know the strategy of her, but we still haven't seen her Mega Evolution though. That's kind of spooky. So let's, let's just right 
Let's walk right through the walls and face against Diana. Welcome, Challenger. Yeah, we all talked to you, Diana. I thought you were cute. I mean, you are cute. But you just kicked my butt, though. So this time, I'm going to kick your butt. So, Leonardo is pretty pumped up. I believe we, we need the power of all, every team member we have. And I'm not going to be using Mega Crash. Because I think we need Mega Leonardo. Bring it on. Let's, bring, let's add that bird. And here is the yeah. And also, I think they did the battle background change. I don't think so. Okay, here comes Sabilai. Oh, I, I didn't even heal. Oh, yeah. So Leon learned focus blast. I forgot to mention it. Oh, guys, I didn't heal itself. What the heck are I doing? So, um, okay, so Sabilai, huh? Hmm. I think I'm going for Electron and. We it down with thunders, and since Electron has the life orb, I think we can pretty much. What the? No way! You got the life orb, and I got the choice scarf. Oh, I'm gonna go with thunderbolt because since we are locked on using the choice scarf, but hey, it's gonna give us speed at least though. That fellow has the life orb. Wow, I haven't seen Jimmy using like trick and those, and you have a life orb. But since we are faster than you because of we got the cho choice scarf. I'm gonna be faster than you anyways, but the problem is we can only use one item and one move set. But I think Electron is already faster than Sabre, so I think Choice Cast is kind of useless, but hey, we did. Um, but does this mean that um, for the rest of the battle we don't have Life Orb? Whoa, that's gonna be sad. So next comes Guard War. I think, okay, it is Psychic and Fairy Tape, so I don't think Leonard can do pretty good against it. So I think I'll keep Electron since we have the. Choice scarf. I, okay, I think the choice scarf is gone. We still have the life orb right now. Oh no, he, he literally changed. He switched the item forever. Oh god. We can only use Thunderbolt. But hey, we are at least going to be faster than the Guardiwar. Guardiwar tend to be pretty fast. Hopefully, we can tank down this because we got some levels. Oh yeah, Electron. Okay, but sad Electron is going to take, be taken out. But Electron did do a chunk of damage to Guardiwar. Now I think I'll go for Vulcan. Uh, I think Vulcan has the choice picks. So I think I'll go for lock on with the flamethrower and hopefully it does some pretty good damage. Let's go for the flamethrower. Oh. I thought I was gonna go for the potion Daya. Nah, Diana. Okay. That's a pretty good name. I like the name. So next comes Gengar. Yeah, so Crash still has the Oh, we haven't used Mega Leon, I just realized. Let's go for Mega Leon and I will set up the new moon. And I think we can start. What? I'm not even. I'm not even using a move, we can make Tyspex only allow you to use Flamethrower. Okay, I'm going to go for the Mega Evolution New Moon. Hopefully we can time down whatever Gengar is going for. So he let's go. Delta Mega Blast Toys! Barra Boom! The true Bowser is here. Oh yeah. Let's hopefully we can tank down water. Oh god! Leonard, please, please! God! <coughs> oh! The training paid off! Okay! Leonardo, you are epic, bro! You timed it like a boss! Okay, let's go for Nimbus, because Nimbus does have the Focus Sash. So even though if you go for, like, I don't know, like, Shadow Ball, or Focus Blast, whatever, we can tag it down. We have the Focus Sash. Oh! It's not even effective. I forgot that we are not a fairy type. The sky is dark, though. So since this thing has the... Uh, you know, uh, Focus Blast, I think we can't use Leonardo just yet. So, who should we go for? Oh, you have Icy Wind. That's totally not good. I haven't seen Gengar's having like Icy Wind and all those stuffs. So yeah, Volcan is still alive though. So I think if we can land a Solid Flamethrower, we are pretty good. Or we can go for like a Choice Picks the Blast Burn. That could be even better. Huh, what do you guys say? You know what, let's believe it. I believe in Leonardo. Or I believe in Vulcan. So if we can land this Blast Burn, we are going to be so OP. I mean, we can just take down Gengar. Oh, yes! See, I like a pal. Critical hit, choice picked Blast Burn. That's what I call overkill. So next comes Gothitelle. And I have a feeling this is going to be a Mega Gothitelle. I just have a feeling. Because it's not Mega Gengar. And also, why the heck? I don't know. Maybe it's kind of like a glitch. Maybe it's kind of a glitch. We still have a new moon. So, we can uh, probably one-shot this Gothitelle. Even though if it's a Mega Gothitelle. And here comes 
the mega pendant got the light i knew it cuz yeah this uh, this game is many fan made mega vision and that mega vision looks pretty good not a lie so but looks are just looks what what you're not a psychic type you are me and the new moon goes off maybe it's like psychic and dark thing what the what that typing is mega got the teller anyways hmm maybe because our dark plus not super fat dragon instead huh okay but anyways even with the calm mind mega got the teller is down mega leader is the best okay so next come shandelur um yeah i think i think leader is pretty doing pretty good so i keep mega leader out we, we don't have the um, or is a new moon which kind of sucks cuz a dark plus one do as much damage as it could have done so substitute i don't know why they given the substitute bra because you can't escape your fate and here comes the overheat though this time hope you can tank it cuz last time yes this one has also has like a white herb which heals up his uh, special attack drop but this dark plus should hopefully take down yes see a light of chandelure Also, sorry if the episode is pretty long, but hey, we are doing some progress, and you have a Cruella. What the? Is that even allowed in a gym battle, though? Cruella? Uh, that's no. Pe What the heck is wrong with the game? Guy yeah, Aqua, I'm sorry. Um, you're going to die, but don't worry. You're going to go down for a good purpose. As you're going to heal up Leonardo, and with a side shock, can you survive the side? That did like nothing. Are you serious? That was a hydro pump. If we can, if we can land this, we're pretty good. Heck yeah! And that did like nothing. Oh, we have left toes. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, I think I'm going to go for uh, what to say, electron. Because since he has the um, choice car instead of the life orb right now, I think um, he'll be kind of faster. Oh no! Heck, no way, no, no. You don't think you're gonna set up those car mines? No, no, no. Heck, I'm not gonna leave that. Let's go, Leonardo. I don't want to go like for like a billion, jillion car mines. We, we can't take this thing down. So he go for side shot. It didn't affect me, bro. I'm a giant type. Oh god, left is gonna heal up fully. Okay, I'm gonna go for the dark pulse. Let's see what I'm gonna go for. Signal beam. Not very effective. I think it's neutral. So dark pulse. Let's see how much he'll do. Mm, uh, not bad, I guess you say. You're going to speed up because I'm going to go for the new moon dark pulse. So pretty much this is a win, I would say. So if you're going to go for the new moon, which is going to power less the power of fairy types or oh, that was kind of scary though. Getting pa um, getting them. Um, oh, oh, maybe the battle is not just yet over, huh? But I believe all can uh, try specs can one shot this Cresselia flame throw. Let's go. Oh, yeah, come and come. I forgot that. Let's go for the flame thrower. Oh, we burnt it though. So it'll slowly beat it down. Here comes side shock. Hopefully we can survive it. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Burn should take it down. Or see ya, light shot. Oh guys, this gym that was a stunning battle. This gym was pretty hard. It seems like as if having toppled. I guess it had it had to happen eventually. Congratulations, here's your prize. We got the Dreamland badge. This will let you. Uh, this will let Hyrule go and obey you. We can also attract Vi. Sorry about that. My iPad noise. We can also attract Vi, rarer wild Pokemon in certain areas such as the Friends Safari. Also take this. As a gift from me, we got TM 26 for Psychic. Cool. That TM move, that TM contains the move Psychic. Psychic is perhaps the well-known Psychic type move. It's very strong and very reliable. That this TM is definitely an invaluable asset for any trainer. Next, I assume you'll be going to Ampere City. My boyfriend Catherick runs the gym there. His team specializes around the range, so you might prepare for that. And who oh, I forgot you can exit the gym just by going straight down. She has a boyfriend, guys. Cool. Maybe, um, maybe you should not expect too much from a fictional character, but ah, uh, Diana, Diana, sorry. Oh, 
Maybe this is an end after all, because Tain, Tain, I don't know what the heck that guy's name is, is going towards the right, so maybe in the next episode, we will be going towards, I don't know where the heck we'll be going, but we'll be following Tain, and I should probably do some nice training to a bugman, because we pretty much are getting dead, but Leonardo, you are the star of the, you are the MVP for this gym. You can take something with my eyes. I don't know. My voice is dying. So, thank you guys for watching this awesome episode of Pokemon and Legends. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I think the commentary, co commentary was pretty good today. So, stay tuned for more episodes. As always, I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.